There were over three and a half million TikTok views on my first series of real world Pokemon within Kanto. So now it's time to do Johto. Have you ever wondered what Pokemon look like in real life Johto edition? Now, of course, if you haven't seen the first one yet, make sure you do by clicking the link up here. This is from Kanto and we'll do the Johto ones now. And of course, if you like it, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't before. I'm going to go through the whole series and try to get as many Pokemon done as we can throughout all of Pokemon and we'll eventually hit all the others. And of course, check me out at twitch.tv slash where I stream Pokemon four days a week. Go and check it out. And uh, I don't really know what we've got ourselves into so far. This does not look like a very good Chikorita. The texture, I guess, is quite unusual. I love the leaf. The leaf looks very cool, but the texture, I'm not quite sure. It almost looks like a green potato, but let's go into Johto, starting off with Chikorita. All right, yo, Bayleaf looks very cool. That looks very cool. I love that interpretation. Almost kind of looks like a dinosaur, I guess. And I think that's like a mini Venonat on its back, which is very cool as well. Very, very nice. I like that a lot. And yeah, the Mega Neem is like the evolved form. That's very cool. And it's got Venonat and Venomoth around it. Definitely looks like a dinosaur, which is very, very interesting. I like that a lot. Meganium, Mega Neem, very, very cool. Oh, the Cyndaquil's so cute. Oh, I love it. It's such an absolute cutie. That is so cool. I like that a lot. Cyndaquil is one of my favorite Pokemon, and I think that is very, very cute. That has definitely done it justice. Hopefully, the rest of the line is very cool, too. Okay, Quilava's not too bad. Quilava's kind of cool. I do like that. <sighs> Typhlosion looks cool. I love that. The detail and the texture on the fur is very, very nice. I like that a lot. I wish we could see the rest of it, though, but that looks very cool. I like that a lot. Totodile! Oh, there's a lot of potential for Totodile, but I'm not sure. I think it's just more so like the artistic style in this one is uh, not quite there, I don't think. I'm not sure about the texture on Totodile there. Crocodile looks very cool, though. Like, definitely like that crocodile jumping out of the water that we can see in Northern Australia sometimes. That looks very interesting. I like that a lot. Very cool. For alligator, it looks like, no, it looks like, it looks like a blue King K rule. There you go. That's what it looks like. <laughs> Very cool. Cedric is very cute. Oh, he's so fluffy. I love it. He's very cute. I like that a lot. Very, very nice. Furret has just got brown stripes on a, a weasel, maybe? Or a meerkat or a mongoose? A, a, a ferret, maybe? I don't know. It's just got brown stripes on it. Uh, it's okay. It could be a lot worse. <sighs> Hootoot looks very cool. Doesn't look so much like a ball like it, it usually looks like, but that is very, very cool. I like that a lot. That's very well done. I'm a big fan of owls, though. <sighs> Maybe not that owl. That, okay. Oh, I don't know. I think it's the eyes. I, the eyes look very, very derpy. I think Noxtowl usually has a very sinister look into it, but uh, this is, is not quite so sinister. Mm, I'm not sure about that. Hootoot was very good, though. That's just a straight up ladybug of Google. That's also just a straight up ladybug. They're, they're the exact same thing. Oh man, ladybug and Ledian could have looked really cool. Especially Ledian could have looked very, very cool. That is, it's, it's just a, a ladybug. That's not all that interesting. Spinner, okay. I don't know about that. The, the colors are very cool on it. It could have been a lot better, I feel. It could have been a lot better than that. Eridos, not so bad. Not so bad. Definitely got more of like that, uh, maybe like a funnel web kind of look to it, which is very interesting. I know some people hate spiders, but I think that's pretty cool. I like that. Wow, okay. Crobat is very cool. If you remember Zubat and Golbat from the Kanto version, definitely following this same style. So Crobat is following that as well, which is very, very cool. I like that a lot. Very, very nice. Chinchu, I'm not sure about the Chinchu's expression, but... All right, it's not really much there to go on. The lantern, okay, lantern is very cool. That is a very, very nice uh, image there. The artist has done an amazing job. Definitely got that anglerfish look onto it, which is very cool. That is very, very nice. I like that a lot. Well done. Pikachu is very, very cool. That looks like it's from Detective Pikachu. Very cute. Big, absolute cutie. I like that a lot. All right, hey, that is Clefairy. That is the exact same image. Whoever made this original video has just taken Clefairy. That doesn't count. Does not count. I don't like that. <laughs> That's the Clefairy image. Oh my... What is that? That is disgusting. That is... How could they make Igglybuff so bad? So disgusting. The face, the eyes, the... Oh my... What is that? Why does it look like a, a bowl of skin with... Oh my... Oh, that is bad. That is very bad. I'm not a fan at all. And I'm not a fan of that either. What are they doing to the babies? What is wrong with that Togepi? The eyes are giant. The face is all kinds of messed up. Togepi is so cute and they've really just messed with it hard. That is bad. That is very bad. 
Okay, Togetic is redeemed. That is redeemed 100%. That is so cool. What is that? It's almost like a, a... Looks like a bird, but it's like a griffin, maybe? Like a baby griffin? I don't know if that's what Togetic is meant to be based off. That is very cool. I like that a lot. That might be one of my favorites so far. That is very cool. Natsu is kind of interesting. All right, all right. I think that's definitely true to the original Natsu, which looks very interesting. Okay, I don't mind that at all. Wow, Zatsu is kind of interesting. That's very cool. It's almost got like that vulture or buzzard kind of look to it, which I don't know if what Zatsu is originally based on, but it definitely has that feel. The The chest looks very cool too. I like that. That looks very cool. I like... All right, that, that's just a sheep. That's you can't just Photoshop a sheep and say it's a Pokemon. That's not how it works. It's more than just the colors. No, that's a little bit disappointing, unfortunately. Flaffer looks pretty cool. I like that. I think the detail in the face looks very cool. I like that a lot. That's very well done. The face looks very cool. Wow! All right, that Ampharos. I was not expecting that Ampharos. That is very well done. I love that. That is very cool. Doesn't necessarily look like a giraffe, which Ampharos is kind of more like, but uh, that is very cool. I like that a lot. Wow. Very, very nice. Oh, okay. Hang on. Bless Blossom. Mm, the eyes kind of ruin it. The rest is okay. I mean, I don't know how they messed up that smile. It's just a basic smile. But, oh, yeah, not sure about that one. Not sure about that at all. Wow, Meryl is... That's not really like a ball. It's it's not a ball anymore. It's just a blue, happy mouse. It could have been a lot better, I feel. I'm not sure. All right, all right, I take that back. Meryl was 10 times better. That is disgusting. What is that? That looks like a toy of some kind that should never be given to children and just be set on fire. That is terrible. What is that? Oh, my God. Wow, Pseudo Widow is very, very good. I like that a lot more. That is very cool. That is very well done. It's very interesting with the, the 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 leaves on the branches as well, I guess. Not so much as like a ball, but it's definitely got some more texture and some more detail into it, which is very cool. Pseudo Widow, I like. That is a good one. All right. Polito looked very creepy. Mm, I don't know. They, I think they needed to keep the mouth closed. The gummy frog is, is not it. I don't think I like that at all. That's just a weed. What is that? That is not a hop -ip. I could take a picture of a hop in my garden. What? That is not a Pokemon. Wow. That is not. All right. Is there a theme here? Like the hop -ip, skip -ip, jump off going to be the same? It's just going to be some dandelion, you know, the white dandelion? That's what, that's my prediction before seeing it because I'm going this blind. They're basing it off what the flower was, but this is not a Pokemon. This is just a flower. You are cheating, whoever made this. Yeah, that, I called it. I called it. That is cheating. It could have been so cool. Wow. A-Pom is very cool. That's from Detective Pikachu as well, isn't it? But the A-Pom, I think, in Detective Pikachu is very well done. I like that a lot. The smile is very creepy, but I think it looks very cool. I like A-Pom. That's just a, a, a seed. All right. I think that this original video is taking it a little bit too literally. I think that's a bit disappointing. Some floor is the same. Yep. All right. I okay, guys see the Pokemon in real life. That's where they got it from, but it's not a Pokemon. They could have done so much better than that. Janma is a dragonfly. So yep, you got that, I guess. Not quite the, the right coloring, I guess. Oh my, okay. All right. This is the first real creepy Pokemon that we've seen. And I wouldn't have thought it would be Wooper. Wooper's like cute and harmless and derpy. And that is scary. That thing looks like it will eat you. My God. I've never seen Axolotl look like that. Look at those teeth, my god. And Quags, oh my god, he's doing that come at me bro kind of look, holy crap. Wow, that is not what I thought Quags was gonna look like at all, especially coming from that Wooper. Wow, that's a completely different direction. All right, all right, we're going to the evolution now. Espeon's pretty cute, not as bad. I think I prefer the Kanto trio than, uh, than Espeon here. It could have been a lot worse, I guess. Definitely looking like a cat. Oh, Umbreon looks very good. There's even the shiny Umbreon, actually, with the blue instead of the yellow, which is very cool because shiny Umbreon is one of my favorites. That is very cool, though. I like that a lot. That is very, very cool. The eyes are very detailed. I like the eyes. The deep red. Very nice. Mac, oh, my God. So it's just got a raven of some kind and giving it a hat. There you go. Take a hat. That's a Murkrow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Look at the Slow King. Oh, my God. That facial, those, those facial features are completely different to what I would have expected. My God, that is crazy. That's very creepy. I do like it though. 
Mischievous looks very cool. Definitely more of a creepy kind of vibe compared to what I thought they were going to give it because obviously it's usually just a smiley Pokemon, but that is something of nightmares. Very interesting. I like that. Well, okay. Unknown as a bloodshot eye now? Like, you wouldn't think you could do much with Unknown. They, I think they've done something with Unknown. I think that's very interesting. I think that's good. I think they could, uh... I think they've done a good job with that one to make it stand out a little bit and not just look very plain and boring. Oh my god, Wobbuffet! I had no idea it was going to be looking like that. Wow, the head is very different. It's got that curve to it, which it doesn't normally have. But uh, wow, that is very different to what I thought we were going to see. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. All right, giraffe. Oh my god, what? That is, that, I mean, it's a giraffe with a messed up kind of tail, but... uh. Wow, okay, I feel that could have been much, much cooler, unfortunately. Pine cone! It's a pine cone, I guess, with some eyes. Kind of disappointing, I would have to say. Forage as well, that's just a, a drawing that's not all that different. Wow! All right, all right, all right, all right. We have to analyze this. Wow. Dunsparce is such an, a, an unusual kind of Pokemon, but this take on it is very interesting. This is very cool. It definitely looks like a snake or a reptile with wings. And we can see it's got like the, the, the spikes on the chin as well. Very interesting. I love that. Like Dunsparce is a pretty cool Pokemon despite being very unique. This is very, very cool. I like that artist interpretation a lot. One of my favorites, I would say. Gligo, so it's not too bad. It's all right. It's okay. Could be better. It's okay. Kind of weird. Steelix looks very cool. If you remember the Onyx, how it was like a, it was covered in sand. Looks like Steelix is taking that vibe as well, rather than just being straight metal. And they've done an awesome job with it. Like so cool. I love how dark the eyes are, and the detail on the teeth is very cool as well. We've got it for more of a jagged teeth rather than the the straight teeth, which is very interesting. Wow. All right, Snubble looks pretty cool. That's that's pretty well done. Is that from Detective Pikachu? Maybe that looks very cool. I like that a lot. That is very cute. So, oh my god, what what does that look like? That looks like it's from a cartoon. Like a Garfield cartoon, maybe? Is that from Garfield? <laughs> that looks like the person that made Garfield has made a, a gramble right there. This is not the worst kind of thing, I've, I think. <laughs> Quillfit, that's a puffer fish with different kind of colors. All right, not all that cool. Ooh, all right, Scizor is very cool. Scythe had a really interesting vibe to it. So Scizor is definitely following that same kind of vibe, which is very cool. I feel the, the claws could have been maybe a little bit bigger, but the rest of it is very well done. I like that a lot. That is very cool. All right, what? That is, what is that? It has no face. That's just slime coming out of a rock. Shuckle, my boy! No, what have they done to you? That is not a turtle-looking thing at all. Wow. I am disappointed. All right, Heracross is pretty cool. All right. It's definitely a lot skinnier than I would have thought, but it is very cool. I like that. The detail in it is very cool. The horn is giant, which is cool too. Wow, that is very interesting. What a take. Sneasel is fluffy. All right, that should be... Sneasel should not be fluffy. Sneasel lives in the ice. How can you be fluffy? Like, I, mean, I guess it keeps you warm, maybe? I don't know. I feel that's not how it should look. Wow, really interesting take on Sneasel there. Oh, Teddy is so cute. He's not standing up, unfortunately, but he is very cute. I like that a lot. I feel the ears should be bigger, though. The ears should definitely be a lot bigger than it is, but it's got the moon on his head, which is very cute. Alright, Earth Strength, just, I guess, just looks like a grizzly bear, which is what it is. I guess it's still got, like, the shoulder pads and stuff. And it's obviously got the circle in the chest. It's not bad. It could be better, but it's not bad. It's not too bad. Slugma's pretty cool. Alright, I don't mind that. I, I can vibe with that kind of Slugma. That's alright. It's got the magma details in it. <sighs> oh, okay. That Makago is very cool. It looks kind of weird. It's almost more, like, slug-like, maybe because its face is on the floor. But I think that is very cool. What I love, I think, is the flame, almost like flame jets coming out of the shell. That looks very cool. All right, all right. I can vibe with that. That's pretty cool. Oh, Sweet Up is cute as a little pig. I mean, it's not... Sweet Up is, like, crawling on the ground, I guess, but this thing has legs. But uh, Sweet Up, Swine Up, however you say it, always say it wrong. It is... It's cute. I don't know if it follows the... They don't follow this very well. Pillow Swine looks good, though. That looks very cool. That almost looks more like a, a camel, maybe? It's got, like, a big hump on it, rather than being more like a mountain. But that's that's pretty cool. I like that. I like that Monster Nub, which is very cool. 
Ooh, Casol is interesting. I'm not quite sure about the face, but the rest of it looks very cool. Definitely looks like coral, which is what it's supposed to be. So that's kind of interesting. All right, maybe a bit derpy in the face though. That's just a fish. All right. <laughs> that's just an octopus. I feel, I don't know. Deli, but oh, the face is derpy. The face is derpy. I don't know about that. The, the sack of presents and stuff is very cool. But uh, that that definitely looks like a derpy kind of bird, which I guess Ellie Bird's kind of derpy anyway. That's not too bad. Obviously based off a of manta ray, but that's not too bad. I'm noticing in a lot of these, they're definitely just taking the original animals and maybe just photoshopping some colors on them rather than having a new artist interpretation, which is a little bit disappointing, to be honest. The Kanto version, I think, was much stronger, but I guess Kanto is always going to be more popular than Johto anyway, so more artists have put time into finding a good version or to making a good version. But that's my take of what we've seen so far of Johto. A lot more of just animals. And I say that, and then boom, look at Skarmory. That is amazing. That is so, so cool. I really like that a lot. It's even got like that shiny glimmer to it, especially on the neck. Wow, very, very cool. Hound dog, that looks pretty cute. That looks pretty cute, actually. It is a sleepy boy, but that looks pretty cool. I like that. It's definitely very fluffy, but that's pretty cool. Hound doom, eh, it's not bad. What kind of dog is that? Is that like a, maybe a greyhound or some kind of dog with some added extras onto it? But not too bad. Wow, Kingdra looks very cool. I love the eyes. Those eyes are not something you'd want to see in the deep dark ocean. That is a very cool Kingdra. I like that a lot. Fanpy, it's an elephant with a few extras. Don Fan is a few extras on an elephant as well. We can see the baby Fanpy there, which is kind of cute. Eh, I don't know. It could have been a lot better. Porygon, too similar to Porygon, where you just have to draw something. You can't have something real life like that. Standler, again, just based off an animal. All right, Smeagol is good. We're trying to find some gems in the rough here. Smeagol is very cool. I love that look, almost like a hyena kind of facial structure, I guess, which looks very cool. Definitely looks a bit more mischievous, which I feel fits Smeagol, Smeagol's uh, personality a little bit more, but that's pretty cool. I don't mind that at all. That's pretty cool. Wow, what? that is so different to what I thought Tyro would be like. Oh my god, it definitely doesn't look like a fight. It almost looks like it's made out of rock or mountain or something. What a take. That is so cool. Wow. Him on top. That looks awesome as well. Oh my god. Oh, very interesting take on the mouth. Have a look at the mouth. Compared to him on top, which is just a, a straight line mouth, they've given that some extra detail. Almost like a beak, which is very interesting. That is super cool. I like that. <sighs> All right, if we remember what Jinx was, Smoochum could be a lot worse. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that's a win. For Smoochum fans out there, all three of you in the world, I would say that's a win. That could have been a lot worse than what it is. Wow, Ellie Kid looks very cool. Wow, all right, all right. He definitely doesn't look like a kid. That face is very interesting though. That whole face design is completely different. He's no longer just a ball. This is almost like something like an Electabuzz, I would say more so. Very, very interesting. All right, Magby's kind of cool. I feel it's quite different to the original, but is very, very cool. I like that a lot, actually. Does Magby have a tail? Is Magby meant to have a tail? I don't know if it, if it does. Maybe it does. I don't remember it. But wow, that's a very cool take on Magby. I like that. It's quite different. All right, I'm just glad we don't have a giant zoom in of some udders. That's it. I'm, th th I'll take this over some giant dangly udders. Ooh, the blissy face is really... Wow, all right, that is not great. The rest of it's kind of cool. The feet are very pointy, which is not something that I would expect. The face is terrible. The rest of it's all right. That, that is going to be my nightmare tonight, and it shouldn't be. Thank you. Okay, all right, here we go. I love... I think out of any generation of Pokemon, the Johto legendaries are the best. All of them are amazing. We're going to start with a great one too. Raikou, that is very cool. Very, very nice. I love how sharp the claws are as well on that design. Very nice. Let's hope the rest of them are really good too. Yep, Entei is amazing. Oh, I love that a lot. I really do. This, the spikes on the back are really different to how the original one looks, which is very cool. I love that Entei. That is very nice. Suicune looks very cool too. I like that a lot. All right. I'm glad these legendaries are looking good. I would have been very disappointed. Ooh, that Lavatar looks very cool, actually. Definitely doesn't have like a baby kind of look to it. That is really well done. The face is a bit interesting, actually. I wouldn't expect it to have such like a 
I don't know, like a narrow kind of face. Kind of looks like a dinosaur, which I guess Lavata should be. So that is very cool. I like that. I'll take that. Wow, Pupita looks pretty good. For what could just be like a rocket with not much detail to it. That is very well done. Again, the eyes, the red eyes on some of these Pokemon look really cool. Really cool addition. Very nice. Tyranitar looks amazing. Wow, that's definitely like a Godzilla vibe. Hey, that looks like Godzilla, especially that attack. My God, that looks very cool. I like that a lot. All right, Lugia. They're definitely following like more of a bird kind of look here with the feathers. That looks very cool though. Again, I would say it looks skinnier than, than what you would think, but that looks awesome. What an interesting take on it. Ho-Oh looks very awesome as well. I like that. See, that's definitely more like a bird, of course. We've got like the feathers in there. The colors are amazing. That is very well done. I like that a lot. All right, let's go the mythical Celebi looks very nice. I like that a lot. Very cute. All right, I think the end of this video has redeemed itself, especially these legendaries. Some of these artistic works are amazing. Well done to the artist. So overall, I'd have to say I preferred the Kanto mods, but we did redeem ourselves a little bit in the end there. Let me know in the comments down below which ones were your favorites and which ones you think were the worst. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe by clicking down here and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys.